Hard Copy Asia – Rock Hard Hitting Facts You Need on Asia Beautiful here, really lovely, peaceful with nature. Look at that mountain, it's beautiful. Going for a walk in the village here, and just notice this one for you guys, which is. A three bedroom for rent. Three bedroom house here in Kalia'an on the ridge. So it might be worth looking at. You're welcome to give them a call. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a rental, this might be the one for you. Walking in the village. Yes. Trying to stay healthy at the moment. Been going to the gym, back to the gym, because I've been sick. I've been a bit sick recently, haven't I, babe? So trying to get healthy again. Walking every day is not just healthy for your body, but it's also healthy for your relationship. For your mind too. And your relationship. Here's another house for rent. I think this one might already be rented though. Feel free to give them a call if you'd like. I believe this one is rented, but to the left hand side there's another house that's being completed. They're renovating it. So you should be able to rent one side at least. That's a good price here, I know that. Here's another low set. So I've got an old nice CLK Mercedes. Here's a beautiful house. It's actually located on the ridge and a beautiful view behind us. Hard to see though. Let's keep walking. And to the left, someone's got a boat there. You're a big kid. This one's a big, beautiful mansion. And they've got a building permit, so it looks like they're developing the block. Not quite sure what they're doing with it, but it is a big, beautiful home. Hey, and what I like about this village is, you know, it's nice and peaceful, not too many cars, and they have footpaths. Whereas in Manila, like for example in Manila, it's like really hard to find footpaths and when you do find a footpath usually it's just like chock-a-block I mean it, it's busy it's super busy um, lots of people um, it's, it's hard to get any space any privacy and it's really hard to walk and this is what I was saying in a in a recent vlog of mine so these guys over here with the bamboo they sold this for like 4 million peso for one side actually, which is pretty cheap. But uh, they're renovating and they're turning it into one big house. So yeah, they sold that one side for 4 million, which was a really good price I felt. And they're renovating it, making it really, really nice. Look at the trees out the front of this joint. It's bloody nice. Now this is something grand. This is big money. It's not for sale, but if it were, it looks like some kind of like Mexican villa, like a Spanish villa or something. It's huge, this place. Absolutely mammoth. And there's another villa just behind here as well. Another big place. Lots of trees out the front for privacy. like three levels and at the top you've got kind of like this I don't know it's a pergola like a, a rooftop balcony area pretty cool I'm just gonna have a peek here because it's just so nice this Mexican hacienda style villa look at that place it's epic again on the ridge 
some nice cars in the driveway at this joint. Sun's going down, it's about 6.30 and another beautiful home behind us with a beautiful garden. And actually there was a bit of traffic today so we were going to go to kind of like a garden supply store and maybe buy some stuff but uh, it was just too much traffic because it's summer. A lot of people were trying to get to the, down to the beach so we didn't, didn't bother this time around, we'll go sometime in the future. Someone's got some music playing in the back. <laughs> Beautiful home. And this is a famous home. We call this the Jedi home because the person that owns it, not sure who, oh wow, they've got a, a big taco on the sign. Look at this. Check this out. But uh, the person that owned it, they, they call it the the Jedi Academy, see that? And uh, actually it's got these two giant tacos protecting the property, look at that. And the one on the right hand side, he's kind of missing his tail. Like, he's lost a part of his tail. It's pretty cool this place. Look at these tacos. Maybe they're a family. Pretty cool. Guys out for a jog. Good evening. Yeah, this is a huge place. Two side uh, duplex villa. Recently been refurbished, um, redeveloped. So it's looking really modern and nice. And across the way here, across um, the road, there is actually another house that's being developed. Show you that just in a minute. Yeah, a lot of properties being developed, redeveloped at the moment. And yeah, they've done a bloody good job of this one, that's for sure. Alright, so it's getting dark. I've turned on the light. This is the place here, a bit hard to see, um, but it's similar to mine. It's got the bottom story where it's got garaging. Uh, it is actually for sale, so there's the sign, uh, but it actually, not sure because i seen this place several months ago and they were renovating it, hard to see upstairs, but uh, it is a nice house. It looks like it's, it's halfway through renovation, so I think they're going to renovate it and then sell it. Not sure exactly because they've already got a sign there for sale. It's a bit odd. Here's another great big villa. Uh, duplex pair but this is a really sizable home this um, yeah it's kind of um, they've redeveloped this at some stage I think it must have been like five or ten years ago I've done a really good good job it's kind of like a mini McMansion I'm not sure but it does actually look as if um, one side is vacant uh, on the right hand side uh, but not sure if it's the same owner because it has been redeveloped in the same style uh, perhaps it was redeveloped and then sold off at some stage. And uh, they've got four car parks here, which is pretty cool too. Well, actually, no, it's six car parks, because you've got this car park here, which is three, and then another three, it looks like, here. It's a big property. Alrighty. So... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to this property here because I want to show you something cool, but it's a bit dark. Um, very interesting, this property, and why it's interesting. I was living there, but what I saw is like an old SLR AMG, and it just sits there. Like, it's never moved. I think the person does definitely live there, but this SLR, yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah, the door's open, a bit hard to see. But actually, that there is an old SLR AMG Mercedes. And there's another AMG 
I think it's an S class or an E class or something just next to it also. So yeah, it looks like it's been sitting there quite some time. Just trying to get a better glimpse. Show you guys what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's it's a bit hard because it's getting dark now. Headed back now, but yeah, great place to have a walk. Nice and safe. There's hardly any people here, but it is really safe. It's a, a secured village, mm -hmm. secured estate, and we absolutely love it, and we love Subic Bay. Double thumbs up, guys. guys are working back late trying to get the property finished yeah the Filipinos do work very very hard especially in the construction industry as you can see it is really peaceful and it's really nice here I love it really love it couldn't be happier Hard Copy Asia, rock hard hitting facts you need on Asia.